This is a quick tutorial on how to make a voltage divider circuit in MicroCAP 11. So we'll just close this window that opens up as soon as you open up MicroCAP. And first thing we want is a power supply. So we'll go up to here and click on the battery icon. And just put it anywhere on the sheet. And I think for this one we'll make it 10 volts. Send 10 into there, press OK. Now we have a 10 volt power supply. Second component we want is resistors. So up the top here, there is the resistor icon. Click on that. And if you want to rotate the component, all you have to do is uh, click on the left mouse button, hold it down, and then click on the right, and it will rotate like that. So we can put it anywhere there. And for now, we'll make this a one kilo ohm resistor. And we'll chuck another one in. And now that we've got two resistors, we'll start joining them up. So go up to here to the wire mode and we can start joining up one uh, component to the other. We click there, click down there. Now, last thing we need to make the circuit complete is to put a ground reference in. So up the top here, click on that, and we'll put that down at the negative battery terminal. Now that the circuit's complete, what we want to go want to do is to find out what voltages are at, at which points. So if we go up to analysis and go down to dynamic DC We'll see a window come up and you can just click OK and you can see that we got 10 volts on the positive terminal of the battery and 5 volts from the middle resistors to ground. Now one other thing you can do with the microcap software is put a slider on each component so you can easily change the values. So if we go up to a dynamic uh, DC, go down to slider, add slider, and we'll put a put one on the um, R1, make the minimum 500 ohms, and 2 kilo ohms for maximum. So hit OK, and you can see that up here there's a slider that you can adjust there, and voltage obviously changes depending on the value of resistor. So we'll chuck another one in for R2. So you just go down there, click on R2 to select that, Press OK, and we've now got two sliders for resistor. So as you can see there, you can change them to any combination you want. And that is the voltage divider circuit finished.